Any other direction hands right now? Amen. Amen. He's going to come and minister to us on this morning. I want you to be prayerful. Amen. Amen. And, and receive it what God has for you. On this morning. Come on, let's stand and receive. Amen. This man of God. So let's put our hands together and pray for us. Amen. So I want to know, do you trust me? And if you don't, that's okay. Yeah. If you don't trust them, that's okay. Because you really need to trust God. And that's really the title of my message. If my get right, but then trust God. Trust me. Trust God. Now we're going to go through a couple of verses. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Because I'm finding out that uh, this time in my place in life, that God is telling me to trust Him. That's, oh, that's all I keep hearing. Is trust Him. Oh, yeah. And I hear the question, "Do you trust me?" Oh, yeah. And it's hard because when you look at, we're tangible people. Yes, that's right. When you're looking at something, yes, and it doesn't add up to what you know you need it to be, on, worry takes over you. Oh, I don't care what anybody else says about. I don't want to talk about this riches and glory, but if your money is funny yeah. and they call it, and you know, hold on, I ain't talking about you spending frivolously. You don't did everything you know you're supposed to do, and it still ain't right. You, you, you get a little worried, and then when you hear that still voice, trust me, you you start shaking, looking around, you know, who, who's this talking to me? Do you trust me? And see, we we don't we don't we don't want to hear that, but the Bible says I'm going to go Old Testament and bring it to the New. Because y'all know all about old and bringing it to the new. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. You can't, you can't figure it out sometimes. You have no choice but to trust them. And then like part, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. If you ain't acknowledge him in all thy ways, don't be sitting there asking God to lead you, guide you your steps. Because you really ain't trust him. You didn't acknowledge him in all his ways. All means everything. everything. So if he said, hey, I need you to do this, Come on. you need to do that. Mm -hmm. And he'll direct your path. Now, if you ain't in the right path, right. you might want to question if you really acknowledge everything God has told you to do. Because it comes down to trust. Y'all yeah. say, trust me. Just trust me. See, when God begins to tell you those things, I have to look at the experiences that I have with him. And see, that leads me to believe that today's church seems to be out of order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're, not, we're not really getting the message because I remember when we went to Louisiana, and I remember he said, God said if the church don't get right, he's going to let America, America be a third world nation. Now, we have to look at the chronological events of things happening here, but remember, everything you hear about technically happens in the church first. So when preachers are getting caught up, Somebody, somewhere, somebody didn't trust in God. And not even did they trust, they didn't listen to God when he said to get it right, so he got to get it right. So if that doesn't happen, people of God, if the man or woman should fall, you got to remember, you still got to keep your trust in God. His word is still true. He still means and says he's going to do what he says he's going to do. Now, you have to understand that when you trust God, when you're walking on this path, thank you, Holy Ghost, you got to understand this is a narrow path. It didn't say broad and wide because if, it was broad, if the path was broad and the obstruction will come, you'd be able to go around it. Right. If the path is narrow and the obstruction comes, it's purpose there for you to walk. Come on, sir. 
But if you ain't got no power to tell the mountain to be thou removed, it shall be cast into the sea. Now understand, the, telling the mountain to be thou removed means the mountain was man-made. It wasn't God-made. Oh. So you won't have to trust God to tell that mountain to be thou removed, and it oh, shall God. be cast into the sea. That means oh, you done made it a chopper island of paradise, but you got to tell it to move. Yes, sir. Now that means to believe that man-made things is something that comes from man, not of God. And if he said, in all my ways, acknowledge me, God going to make it happen. The mountain got to go. That means also, when you're in the wilderness, you got to stay on the path. Yes. You can't step off the path and be man-made. Yeah. Right. 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 It might be a setup for the enemy to get you. Because when the lion comes, he ain't got no concerns. If you hit him, man man, man he's going to eat you in, man. Oh. And the Bible does say he's like a roaring lion. See who he may devour him. So if you ain't got no power at that point in time on a path, don't you step off the path trying to get with something that you ain't got no business getting with. Yes, sir. I'm in the Bible. You in the Bible. Second Corinthians. Yes. This, is, this is the verse I want to hang my hat on. And I'm going to read you the King James Version, and then I'm going to read you the New Living Translation. All right. Because now we're in the New Testament. And I want you to catch key on this word, because the next time, and y'all know I'm about this, the next time y'all hear somebody talking foolish about Old Testament, uh -huh. it, it is not in order with the Old Testament. Stop listening to them. Shut your spiritual ears off to them. Because the eyes and the ears are windows to your soul. And you do not want unnecessary foul weed seeds being planted in your spirit. Because I'm very questionable when people keep talking about this Old Testament and what people are supposed to do. The New Testament came. That means what you're telling me is we ought to speak with the Mosaic Law because Jesus Christ never came. Do you trust him? He said, I sent my son. God so loved the world that I sent my only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's the Bible. That's the word. And it says, such trust we had, we through Christ to God, Lord. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, catch that right there, but of the spirit, but the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. All right. I didn't do protocol, so y'all forgive me. I give an honor to God who is the head of my life and my pastors and y'all God's people and of course my wonderful life, wife and my family. Amen. Amen. All right. They support me. Because really they gotta have trust in who I am. Yes. See they see sir, I understand how you feel. Because them jokers don't they don't question when it when they want it, they just have to trust and faith that when they ask, they expect some time to get it. They, they don't question uh, when it's dinner going to be ready. Ain't no dinner going to be ready. They don't question if the lights are going to be on, if the cable is going to be on, what clothes they want. They trust that when they ask for it, they're going to get it. And I just have a question. If we want to be like some of these children are with us with God, if we would just have trust, in, and I'm not, I don't want to talk about the material things because we always focus on the material. I want to talk about the spiritual. If we trust God for healing, because yes. first you got to be healed yourself. You can't yes. walk around claiming healing if you ain't got no healing. Yes. You're in your penumbra. Uh. So when you speak of healing to someone who ain't got healing, you act like you ain't got it. Yeah, I know my knees might be a little creaky. I might got a little limp, but I'm still walking in glory. I'm believing God for my healing. So you have to be the testimony. Do you trust Him? Don't talk about riches and glory coming to my house because people get that confused and thinking that it's monetary. Uh. It's not just monetary. Riches means you got American favor. You need to wake up every morning. Everybody else got all types of jello going on in their house. If it should come back on your door, you ain't worried about it. You can come, come on in and try if you want to. I trust in who he is. I got power. You can't run in my house and not get shot. I know Junior might not be acting right right now, but I trust that God is going to lead me and guide me to teach him and do the right thing. So if I have to give him the rod of correction, it's going to come. If I got to give a different type of correction, it's going to come. But he and them going to understand that some type of correction will come up in on that one. But do we have that trust in God? See, see, they know. Now I've been like to play a little bit too much on me. I'm working on that. But he knows if he goes too far, what's going to come? He begins to twitch up because he doesn't understand some type of correction going to come. But some of us do certain things that we don't pay no correction to come. Like we don't trust in God's word now. Now we just allow that when the docs to come our way. I'm tired of that. Y'all know how I am. I'm, I'm frustrated. Because, like I said, you're getting titles and I'm more pretty much trusting these people but I trust these to be in God. That way you can teach the doctrine that's not of God. You got enough sense to say, no, I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to listen to you. I don't know what your title is. 
I, I, I have trust in yes. I have trust in your titles, but more importantly, because it comes without repentance, I gotta trust God. I gotta trust God that even though I may not like you, know what's going on with you, that if the anointing is still flowing, I gotta trust God that that skip is gonna work and it's gonna give me what I need to get. But that's about as far as it's gonna go. Anything else you say? Shut it up. I don't need to listen to you. Now, might be getting ahead of myself, but the New Living Translation says, we are confident of all this because of our great trust in God through Christ. It is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. See, I like that. But sometimes we get comfortable in this man-made system mm-hmm. of qualification. You think, well, I got my paperwork, my, my doctors and stuff, my doctors and I don't need God. No That's where we're at in the world today. Mm-hmm. We done got so smart, we said we don't need God no more. We don't let it mm-hmm. That's not right. It is not that we think we are qualified. Our qualification comes from God. Mm-hmm. Catch that right there. Listen, don't worry about no more titles no more. Mm-hmm. If God qualified you, yes, and preach, teach, yes, and witness to the lost, yes, you preach and teach and witness to the lost how God gave it to That's you. Right. But you need to trust him and listen and tell you how to tell it. I, have, I know we do this sometimes. Yeah. God say, go speak to him. Mm-hmm. We don't trust him. Mm-hmm. We allow fear to run. Now, that's another verse, but I did have one of my points. I don't want to get ahead of myself. It says, but in your time of greatest calamity, you must trust in God. Yeah. That's Psalms 56 and 3. So if God takes you to go do something, mm-hmm. and you know it's God. Okay. Like that ham sandwich. All right. Come on. That Coca-Cola. Uh-huh. That good steak you yes, talking to you. Because yes, you know it's good to talk to you. Yes, Maybe you listen to a good song. Mm-hmm. Maybe you got a flashback. But make sure it's God mm-hmm. telling you to do something. Mm-hmm. He's qualified you to do it. Yeah. Listen, he says, it says he has enabled us to be ministers of his new covenant. Did y'all catch that? Mm-hmm. New covenant. This covenant is not a written law. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know we, we have some things to come up. I know it got quiet. I know y'all, y'all feel me. Where am I going? Mm-hmm. Wipe the sweat off my head for a minute so I can tell y'all where I'm going. That means all these new written laws that come keep coming up in the come church on, and in the world on, on, don't on. got no control. Man, man. Say so over come you. On, come on, come on. Don't got no say so over what come you're come supposed on. to do. Yes, God qualifies you. This covenant is not a written law, but of the spirit. Mm. It says the old written covenant ends in death. Mm. But under the new covenant, the spirit gives life. In other words, you've got to live this thing in your spirit. Forget right. just knowing the word of God is the right thing. You got to live it. You have to be the living epistle and yes. center. Yes, and trust that God's taking you supposed to be for people to get affected, to have affected with the people that live like in Christ. So so I understand we got certain traditions. There might be a certain set way that people come up with to, to witness. But if they can say, Lord Jesus. You go on and get Romans 10 and 9. If you ain't going to do nothing, the Lord just tell you, look, I'm going to pray for you and ask that you give your life to Christ. Then you say yes. Yes, yes, yes. And if they say yes, it says. That is all that it is done. We don't got to do all this. You know, somebody, uh, uh, I'm all perfectly just acting like you're getting with me. Like you act like something's smelling bad in the room and you're the only one that can smell. No, 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 no. Small to them. Trust and then trust God that they're in God's hands at that stage. Yes, now they're going to do things to you. Yes, you know, I had a conversation with a young man last night. He said, I'm, I'm a little hurt, and I understand. He said that people do these things and they lie. You lie. You lie. Yeah. You didn't tell the truth about everything. Yeah. You told a lie when you, oh, you sat up in here at this altar. Or with another person and said, do you know Jesus? And some of y'all said, yes, I do. I go to church. No, you didn't. You ain't been to the church in five years. But to get them off your back, you told them, you know, do you know how to tell them what this do when they come knock on your door? Do you know the Lord? You had that Bible sitting out there just for that occasion. You put it out there. Oh, I see you have the Bible. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And they ain't got no Holy Ghost to know you lying. And I give you one better. Because this is, the, this, this is where we get hurt at. And don't think that we don't do it. We do God the same way we have people in our relationships when we have them and trust them. And that goes to my praising part. Because you know, you, you know how we, you know, relationships are, you know, they want something. They're real nice. Watch out, sir. Watch out now. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out. Hey, baby. You, know, you want something from her? 
Girl, you know you look so good today. Yeah. 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 Your legs must be tired when you run through my mind all day. You know, we, 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 we say these things. Yeah. You know, when you want something from the man, you know, yeah. sir, lady, I've been doing my good work to show up on time all of a sudden every day, man. I've been on time in the last few weeks. But hey, it's okay. You come and look, you want something. But you really aren't doing it for the purpose of what it's supposed to be giving glory to God. You're just doing it because you want something from him at that time. So what you do is you do all this, and it, it, it's, it's like a, God gave it to me, it's like a false sense of praise and worship. And this is hard for y'all to get because we do this in church. We, we come up in here, we got to get pumped and primed. And instead of trusting God and being like, you know what, God, I'm going to give you all I got. And listen, I, I might not be feeling you right now, but I'm going to give you all I got. But what we do is we, we'll try to force something. Hallelujah! I did it out of me. Yeah, God know you being faith. Yeah. And we get up here. Oh, oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. They heard us stop singing this song. That's how we do. And then we, if we don't get what we want, then we say, oh, God, is it real? But it was a false praise and worship. Yes. You're supposed to praise God for regardless of what's going on. If you really trust Him, yes, you really trust Him. Yes. Like I said, maybe you have new relationships. Mm. Come on, come on, help. Yes, I, 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 I. No, no, no. You just want something. Just be yes, upfront with yes, yes, Sometimes that's how I'm showing sure people. What do you want? Mm -hmm. You being too nice for nothing. Yeah. What do you want? Just get to the point. Right, right. And, and, and sometimes we get mad because God, God already knew it. That's how He does us. But if we really trusted Him, in spite of the situation. Oh, right. We would give him glory in spite of this. I don't care what's going on. You would still get that praise in spite of And you don't have to wait till you get to this house to do it. You ought to be doing it. And to be told, I don't listen, sometimes I shout my car for a little Y'all forgive me. I, I, I do a little bit of in a bucket in my shoulders. I, I get it if I get a good song. I, sometimes I don't even care about the light. I just, you know I was for a save it. I just, I did. I understand where I was at, first lady. 
I understand where I was at, and then God met the need. So why would I all of a sudden I let this crazy wind doctrine come and tell me something different? I've had too many experiences with him. I spent too much time with him to understand this. Listen, I know we needed something. I I know we needed. It. I know where it was gonna come from, Tucker. Then a phone call came. Here's some orders for two weeks. And it was the easiest AT God ever blessed me with in my life. Didn't have to do really do nothing but wake up, go to work, go home. Easy 2K in the bank. And that was more than what I expected. Which goes to the word. He exceedingly blessed you. Above and beyond. That's the word. But now, if I listen to somebody else during another crisis, oh God, here come the word again. Hey, Gilbert, you trust me? Did not take care of you before? Yes, sir. When nobody else in the world come from, did not take care of you before? Mm. Did not do this for you? Did not line this come up for you? Sir. Come on, sir. This gets paid every time. Somebody come by, bless and tell us to go who find it. I'm going to talk about you. That's right. You keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. You are blessing other people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And because of that, God's going to bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't even understand that God's going to bless you and your family. Don't get it wrong. On, because of your heart. See? Yeah. But you yeah. have to trust God to keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Yeah. Now, since I need you to talk to her, because uh, she was at food line, she didn't see me. And that's not good, because I wasn't sure the people she was with were talking the right thing. She had a funny look on her face. I told her that, I told my wife to tell her next time she didn't look, let them look right, because in case they jumped, I had to let her back. Then I would have had to call you. But they looked a little crazy. Since they were talking crazy, I said, Erin, Erin, she didn't hear me. I said, all right, God, you got it. But believe, trust God. You got experiences, you got encounters. He's going to have to put it in order. God will provide all your needs. Philippians 4.19 But well, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. All your needs. He shall supply. That means you got to be in a place when the opportunity comes that you're able to move. Some of us are not in a place of opportunity when we're going to move. That's why he's getting this back in order because when he begins to tear some things down or, or some things begin to come to your house it's for a reason because before you wouldn't get on your knees like you were supposed to. I know I'm talking about myself. I'm not going to talk about y'all. I'm talking about myself. So this is the list of, if any place where my feet should go, it's 65, 20. Something's not right. So now all of a sudden I find myself getting up. I got to pray in the morning. I, I, I got to take a couple of minutes to pray. And then God tells me, he says, he, he doesn't speak to me. I don't know how he talks to you. He talks to me. He said, begin to command your day to go well. He, he just, when you wake me, listen. And then, and then and I ain't got no hours of time to do this. So I got to do this while I'm trying. And I'm like, but God, God, I'm going to hurry and get to work. Command your day to go well. That tries to come against my finances, my body, my health, my marriage. I even go as far as saying my relationship with my children, my wife's relationship with my children. I have to speak these things daily. Because if I don't, the enemy is going to try to come in with knowledge. So I got to have trust in God. So when he says to speak it, and it's in your mouth, say it. Nobody has to hear you. Say it. Sometimes we think we just do it, say it in our mind. No, no, no. Sometimes it got to come out your mouth, baby. Because once you understand, the Bible says something about from the valleys of rivers, rivers of pouring water come out. Uh-huh. That means it's inside your spirit. Mm-hmm. And the only way it's going to come out is if you begin to speak. Yes. So don't take it crazy that we have this means war and, and the movie War Room come out, uh-huh. chronological order of events. They uh-huh. came out with fireproof because they were trying to help marriages. Uh-huh. Then they came out with facing your giants. See? They said you want to face these giant come demons. On, on. Then they said you want to have to be courageous. Uh-huh. Now they said all this, now you got to be in War Room yes. because we have war. Yes. Families are under attack yes, because we didn't trust in God. Yes, That's why the horses are high. Uh-huh. Because we really didn't trust God for what we said it's going to be. Uh-huh. And I understand because sometimes when stuff gets hard, yeah, yeah, you start yeah. looking at it. Uh-huh. 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 I really make the right choice. I'm not talking about myself. I ain't talking about y'all be doing questions. Let me kind of have a problem. We do sometimes, but we're going to be all right. Because guess what? God told me I brought it to you. I told you to make the decision. You 
want to trust me. You don't do what everybody else doing, jump shit at the easiest sign of trouble. That's why marriage is under attack. Why? Because we're not teaching men to stand by God, to stand by his word, in the decision that they made. He said, you said that's her. That was your vision of loving. All of a sudden, does it go funny? Now it's time for you to jump to another? What if it's you that's the problem? And if you're supposed to be committed to God like God is committed to you, you won't leave. Now, how many problems did the children of Israel commit on God? Yet he never left them and didn't forsake them. I mean, think about it. Hosea had to run on for lessons. But he never left them. How many times did we do something wrong on God? He didn't say, oh, I'm divorcing you. So if, if, if you can do that, Surely through this 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 small time of trouble, I'm, I, I surely can stand the test of the trial and show love. Because guess what? Trouble don't last always. And we can man do it for a night, but joy coming in the morning. That's the Bible. Yeah, it's coming. So I ain't got no time. I mean, think it does sit in my my face now. Because let me tell you something. Single, I don't care if you're single or married. That's right. When you got that need, uh-huh. Uh-huh. it's like a Snickers. Yeah. All of a sudden, you see it at the store. On, it's at every store you go to, you see the Snickers. Oh, and it's candy, and you want to think about getting it because you know it satisfies, but it's not real good. Snickers is just a snack. But it's tempting because it's a Snickers, it's candy. So, so all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's up in your face. You know, you hungry? You ain't had nothing to eat for a while? I can take this quick snack. Come on, sir. God forgive me. I might have to take the secret way to the game. But that ain't what God did for you. So why are you gonna do it for them? I'm telling you, if I'm trusting in him. In relationships, you got to trust in him. So regardless of what it is, then you know what? No, I'm gonna have to go say no. I understand I'm gonna have to get this good word. That's going to feed my favorite soul. And I'm going to give me a whopper somewhere on the way home. But this nigga just ain't going to do It's not, see, it, 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 it's temporary. It doesn't really fix the problem. And then the, the, the issue is still there. It only held you over for a little while. And what God is trying to do, he's trying to get you a long-term part solution to your problem. But you got to trust in him. So listen, I don't care how mad she get with me. I love on the level. Yes, sir. And the truth be told, if it wasn't for the law, uh-huh. and the Holy Ghost saved me, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could have said some choice words to make the situation worse. Yes, sir. Talking about me. Yes, sir. See, y'all don't understand. Yes, I'll be ready. That's right. Come on, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. I just. She's like, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God, I'll tell her what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make it Touch it now, God. Touch it now, God. I'm going to pray for her. She's been praying for me. Sometimes I have to chip on my shoulder. She didn't talk about going to see Brother Jimmy for lunch. She didn't do that. Now, of course, I did speak this word. I don't know how my response would be, Brother Six. Because I wasn't always safe. But I will have to ask y'all to get my bail money ready. And I'm, my, my, I was blacked out, and I don't remember nothing. On, but understand, uh-huh. I'm investing. Uh-huh. And just like that, That's my good. response to her yeah. is the same response God has for you when you, when you step out like that. <laughs> and you're trying to figure out why all this stuff is coming to you. If only you just had trusted in him and, and believed in the first place. Yeah. And understand that you're going to have some, some mountain and valley moments. Yeah. But you're going to have to trust in him. Do you really trust me? Because I, I have a problem when we don't trust somebody. We thought another one must have died for us. Didn't know me. And went on to take the crucifixion. That, 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 that stayed with me. Because he didn't even know me. He got ripped and beat before he even got the hammer of the cross. And if that wasn't enough, they still killed him and pierced him in his side. And you mean to tell me? We allow this human system to continue to control us. I'm going to be ready to close. We're about to. Because I'm on my last point. 
we got to trust in him, not the monetary system. I had a conversation with one of my best friends. And I know God is using him because I asked him to review the best. But he told me a few things. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying he's not saying he has to believe in Christ. But I believe God will get him there. And what he told me was, he said, brother, whether they like the message or not, I need to catch this. Whether they like the message or not, you have to believe that if God gave it to you, God got your back. You must believe in this. Now, how is an unbeliever got enough faith to say this? I'm supposed to be saying this. But how is an unbeliever supposed to have this much faith and believe? He said, look, brother, if God said it, put it in you. That means it's done. God got your back no matter else matters. So that leads me to believe that. If God got your back, and God, listen, when we deliver this word, sometimes it got to be delivered a certain way by a certain person. That's why I ask you if you can trust it. Because if you put your trust in them, that's fine. But you got to trust God that God is in them, man of God, woman of God, not God of man, not man of man. But when God is in them, that whatever way they're supposed to deliver it, it was point for that time, man at that point in time for to be delivered that way. Now, sometimes it might be sweet. Sometimes it might be sweet and sour. But you better swap with either way. Because God had already set it up for them to deliver that word to you that way. So, if that's the case, you should trust God. Okay, God, I didn't need a sugar-coated word for that. I needed somebody to tell me to get up my mess. Stop smelling myself. Sit your behind down and get right. Look here, go in your prayer closet. Do something. You might not listen. If he told me to sit down no more, it might hurt me, but I got to sit down. Why? Because he might see something that I might not see. And I have to trust God that he's trying to get me ready for something I need to be ready for. But what we do is we get an attitude we don't trust God. I know better than everybody. That's not the case. you got to trust in him. And then he said, look, the way the stock market is going, because I, I, I do pay attention to money, y'all. Y'all better catch it. Something's going to happen here real soon. And monetary system is going to change. It's almost like we might have another stock market crash. And y'all know what happens. People start getting stupid and jumping off bills and everything else. But he said, you're going to be very important. He said, because you understand the importance of family. Mm. 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 Come on. Mm. That messed me up. Mm. He said, you're going to be very important. Because that means there's some people out there who see God's gift in you. And they got enough trust in, in you to make it happen. But you got to make it happen. But you got to trust God. Mm. That means during this time frame, there's things more important than money. That's right. mm. It's a system to be used, but we can't put our faith in it all the time. Listen, I, I would like to be like some of these rich stock brokers. I believe God's going to be a millionaire someday. I don't know how. But even if this, I can't put my reliance on money, because the more money you get, two be told, the more problems you have. That's why your lottery winners have issues. Because everybody and their mama start coming up with stuff. When they know you got money, people think you got money to get. That's why all these foolish simple lawsuits come up. All the simple things. But you can't put your faith in a monetary system. You gotta put your faith in God. Mm-hmm. You gotta trust Him. Because without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Mm-hmm. So who are we trusting? Trust me. Trust God. I'm not saying me. Trust God. Stand me. You know, I think it's funny how we say, I searched all over the place. And I still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater than me. We say His name is above all names. Mm-hmm. But do we really trust Him? Are we trusting and believing for the word that's coming from our pastor? Are we trusting and believing? Because I know it had to be hard for our pastor to get a word that don't have a church out here in real old way. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I can break it, but break it is big, but it's good. You couldn't tell. I need to come out here and have church. <laughs> but he still trusted him about the stuff. Some members have came and gone. But I thought about this, son. Just maybe. God had to deconstruct them, folks. To get up out of here so you can get just what you need. To get what you had to go. Because sometimes we trust numbers. It's true. We trust numbers. If y'all don't trust numbers, why don't care what's in the bank We trust numbers. But... But what we need to do is we need to trust good, faithful people. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Trina, can I talk? Yes, Trina, I have a problem. Yes. I have a problem. Yes. God's working on me. When people say, you're my pastor. And then five years later, it was somebody else. 
I, you know, here's my problem. I'm not saying that God don't require you to change, but it's that God said you're supposed to be in this ministry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to trust in the state when yeah. times in the past. Right. 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 Now, right. things trouble come the way of trouble. It's the man of God. He's supposed to leave because here's my problem, Trina. If God didn't leave, if he didn't leave you, you'll trust in me. He trusted God for you. So why are you leaving him? And more importantly, why are you leaving God? When did God start doing all this change fly by night stuff? He was saying yesterday as he was today, tomorrow and forevermore. But yet somehow we brother since we wake up and oh, I need to go somewhere else. And I'm not saying that's not supposed to happen. If, if there's a time frame in the world, I understand. And I get that, but then you need to tell the truth when you come here. Yeah. Sir, I don't know how long we'll be here. Personally, you pass right. out this yeah. night before season. Right. And, and just say that for right now, I just need your covering yeah. for that time frame. At least I got a, I got a truthful matter. But don't say you grab the microphone and you testify to everybody that God sent you to be here and this is your church. And well, then you go. Come on. That's what I, I thought about my pastor, Brother Johnny Butler. He said a proper line, test the line. That's what they do. Don't do that. Y'all forgive me. You ain't supposed to be husband and wife swapping like that. I'm sorry. I, if God said that's who you're supposed to be with, make sure it was good. And if God said that's who you're supposed to jump the room with, God forbid, unless they lose their mind and die and leave you on their own accord, you still need to stay faithful to the cause. Right. That's it. That's it, sir. You ain't supposed to keep hopping and jumping. Who are you trusting in? But this is what we do. You, 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 I love God. And then here's another problem with trusting in God. We violate trust because what we do is uh-huh. we hurt them and then get mad and act like they said something else to get right and we get our feelings hurt. How many times did it that be like me? We have a good relationship, sir. I ain't got no problem with that. If you done told me many times, I always tell the truth. Uh-huh. And then you know something, I tell you, look in your face and your eyes and say it and lie. Mm-hmm. That's a wound. Wow. I wounded him. Because if I told you barely in time, what am I lying now? If you get mad, he gonna get mad. If you get no man, either way, I should be able to tell the truth. Because the truth won't come out. I'm a firm believer. I used to believe me and God had an understanding. But now, personally, I believe I got God has a covenant with me that he said the truth is gonna come out regardless because I got the Holy Ghost on me and the spirit of truth shall come. So all of a sudden, no matter what's going on, some things happen, the truth always comes out. So if I understand that, what's the point of me lying? Tell the truth. And it wasn't because I kept thinking about it. God brought it back to my memory for a reason. Because people do this. And they're going to do it to you. And you can't do that about it anymore. You know they lied to you. Because guess what? You did it when you was a child. You knew Somebody did it the other day. They said mama was me and me. Wanted me to wear a collar shirt. So somebody told on them. The reporter reported on them, Tucker. And then when she came in and questioned the young man, he did what every child do when they get hit with the truth. You get the puppy dog guys. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. And then she said, are you sure? Ask him three more times. And then he finally said with tears in his eye, because he knew it was coming. I said it. But we do this as children. So children going to do it. You're going to do it. But don't sit up here and try to figure out how you, why the ministry is slowing down when you lying and wounded people. Because you didn't put your trust in that, that hurts. That hurt me when I did that. And I had to go to the point to where it don't bother me no more, sir. I know they lying. And my wife is trying to figure that. That's what I said. I'm going to say. My face will be turned up. Because I'll be like this. You know, I tell you, you know, you used to be lying. You'd be like, did I about raise up? Did you did not speak in the prayer? Up? You'd be like, are you sure? And you know me. Before I was doing something, I was always nose to nose. I can eat grill. Are you sure? Forehead to forehead. Are you sure? Do you are you want hold on? Before you say anything else, are you sure you want to go? This is the story you want to stick with. I had to build my pride. 
Are you sure this is the story you want to stick with? You don't know I already talked to the woman. I already got the facts. I got all the paper right here. Right. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Because trust me, I'm going to do what God called me to do. I'm going to be who I'm going to be. So are you sure you want to do that? But we do it anyway. They come with a lie. And I said, you know what? I'm going to stop getting my blood pressure up. That's right. That's right. Because I already know the outcome. I'm going to do my best to be there for them. God told me to trust him when you were going to do it. He said to be there for him. We got to stand by people better back. Mm-hmm. And that's what the world is. Stand by them better back. People are broken. It's not denial. Stand by them better back. What's he doing? We're going to stand by you and love you better back. Uh, and matter of fact, I believe you're going to do some good things this year. Because it's your time. Because we don't put enough word in you. And you ain't the only one. We had to put a lot of word in Aaron and Don. Because they had some synapses and some breakdowns for a couple of times. I could talk about my own children. I had to get them right. Pastor had to talk to them sometimes. Had to get them right. But we have to put our trust in God. I'm done. I just want y'all to understand. You don't get nothing else. You got to trust me. I know things ain't going right. Things ain't all right all the time. You got to trust me. I don't know why. He's going to keep saying trust me. You got to trust me, John. You got to make a decision. That. You got to make it in your mind regardless of still trips, falls, and pass. Your present, you got to be dedicated to your future. And the words didn't come out of my mouth, these words came out of your mouth. Focus on my future. So, in spite of everything that's happening, you have to stay focused on your future. Because we have to still have hope in God for all these young people. That they have to be the future of the church. We, but we got to get right here. We gotta get right. We have to get right. It starts with us. Eric, you're gonna be alright. If Douglas Bird don't win another game, you're gonna be the star standing out on that football field. I want you to hear what I say. Because people know, not just because of your daddy, because of what you've been doing. But understand he had to put some in you first when they come out. But you gotta listen to what you're being instructed to do. You gotta trust that what he's telling you is the right thing to do. You hear what I'm saying, Jesus? You gotta trust in him. Yeah. Aaron and Donovan, they gotta trust in me. Because yeah. sometimes they try to argue with me about football. Like I'm not a coach. <laughs> Don't call a screenplay and throw it to the boy when the secondary man is right there on top of him. That's not how screenplays work. He's supposed to be five yards back behind the line. So when he throws it to him, the two other ones hold the block. And clear the way out so when he catches he can go forward. Stay with me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But you got to trust in your people that's telling you what to do. So trust God for this ministry. Trust God for the people that's in charge of the ministry. Trust them. Because he didn't place them here for no reason. The word that they put in their mouth is for them. Listen. Kingdom builders didn't just come by accident. It's time for people to be worried about doing God's kingdom building work. Too many people are worried about having the building and not worried about focusing on the people. And the one thing that they're about, that you've experienced and encountered, is the people. If they say we can't have this building no more, I'll pop a tent somewhere on the other side of the land we walk, get some speakers, and we're still going to have church. Because guess what? It's about the people. It's about the fellowship. It's about the, the spirit of God moving. That's why this place is good, because if, listen, if you don't go to other places, we'd have been to other churches. The atmosphere is not conducive to the flow of God. And we got folks leaving there the same way they came, they're not here. And some people don't got so grand with us. They tried to stop the flow. Interrupted the flow. I got a problem with that. And I've been too quiet too long, so now next time God trusts me to move, Tucker, guess what? Y'all just watch how I move. 
Because I'm a woman. I'm a you don't need you still need no help. You need the help when you pray right now. You got this. They got this. I trust God. Then he would not know the Lord that saved we open the open invitation. And more importantly, if you had a place where you might have been where I've been, and not just when I leave these doors, don't think it ain't gonna change. The enemy gonna try to hit me up with something else. That's gonna make me doubt the word that God gave me and trust in him. We can't allow us. So I tell you, like I tell, I tell that situation. I cancel every demonic assignment. Every see the worry. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood. Of all of your people right now that's in this house. Those that are not in this house, we plead the blood for them. God, if they need healing, we trust you to heal them. If they need deliverance, God, we trust you to deliver them. Touch their very minds, God. Touch their very hearts, God. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus, God. Plant seeds of joy. Joy seeds of peace. Seeds of power. Uproot fear. Uproot doubt. Up from all things of man that's not of your spirit, that's somehow found its way in their hearts and their spirit. Up oh, here right now, God, be a weed killer. Be a weed killer. Tilt the ground and plant good seeds and good foundations of your word and your power and your spirit. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. Cover each child in the blood. Touch their very minds, God. Block every demonic assignment of sexuality, fornication, lust, Drug addiction, not belief, unbelief in you. Block it right now in the name of Jesus because we are at war. We have to trust in him. He shall not take my family. He shall not take my ministry. He shall not keep attacking my leaders. He shall not take the church of God. He shall not touch the marriages. He shall not touch my place and my commitment to God. He shall not do it. And it is so. Now and forevermore, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Praise him, not because I said so. Praise him, not because it's indicated. Praise him because you know he needs and deserves the help of the praise. Come here, CJ.